Alright, you join me today and I am working on my brand new Toyota GT86 from 2017. It's not brand new, second hand, but one previous owner, so I don't know, call that brand new. Just notice all of like, this mud no, like, sprayed up. That. But um, I don't think that's so. from our late night drifting last night. But um, anyway, if you come round with me. Oh, steady on the toolbox. So, basically, that red wire right there is a wire for my amplifier. Um, amplifier for my new door speakers that I've got. Yeah, so I've just picked up some, uh, well, they're Sony ES 16.5 uh, centimeter or 6.5 inch. I can't remember the size, but the door speakers, Either way, I'm replacing that. The stock sound system was pretty good, but I put a new stereo in. I was too excited to wait to film it. Um, but you'll be seeing me take that out so I can put the RCAs in the back. Um, but yeah, amp, new door speaker. And that is the wire to power the amp, which runs just through the firewall back down there. So, yeah. So I've got the uh, amp, which is uh, this tiny little brick there. I've got that amp uh, all wired up, except from the speakers, so I need to get the speakers um, sorted out. Um, what I'm hoping I can do is I'm going to put the speakers in, I'm going to tape the um, old harness for the old speakers just to the size so they aren't being used. Hopefully I'll be able to run the cable for the speakers just through there. That is the idea. Um, but yeah, amp turns on with the ignition, everything all right. Um, be able to put the stereo back hopefully soon. Just need to wire the RCAs from the stereo to the amp speakers. That's it. Time to uh, take the door panel off. Uh, I believe there are three screws, which um, one which is right behind the handle and then two which is just under this plastic trim here. Ah, oh, finally got that door panel off. That was more pain than it was worth, I think. But you come with me here. You can see there is the stock speaker. Come, cameraman. Cameraman. I've zoomed in. Well, come, come, give that a feel. Tell me what you feel of the um, cone quality. To... Oh. Let me, let me. What does he, what does he feel? This bit here. Yeah. How does that feel? Does that feel good quality? <sighs> what is that feel? It's kind of like cardboard. Paper. Isn't it? Yeah. Paper. It feels like paper. <laughs> Right, so in here, um, got some sound deadening sheets, just small ones, but it'll help get rid of any vibrations, which is good, including some foam baffles, so that will airtight, make it airtight and um, get rid of any like scattering um, vibrations. I've tested it in my iGo, which is that one over there. I can tell you the difference it makes from just like normal basic door speakers. You get so much more bass out of it. And including that, we've got some adapter rings. And if I get a bit closer, look at the quality of these. Oh, these are Sony ES door speakers. They cost me quite a lot of money compared to normal door speakers, but they're supposed to be really, really good. And I thought if I'm going to be upgrading any of the speakers, it'll be the door speakers because they're the biggest ones. And these amplified will be able to just sound so good. Grab a new one. The weight difference is uh, very prominent, but essentially we'll sit on this mounting bracket and then it will squeeze in 
like so. And it'll be sat in there like that. And it'll be heaps better. Right, a uh, slight problem has started raining, which is really annoying, but I'm gonna soldier through it and hopefully it doesn't turn out too crap, <laughs> the results. But so far I've got the um, speaker wires wired through the uh, grommets on the door thing. I, ha I had to skip actually using the rubber bit, so I just poked some holes around the cables. And I've got the speaker mounts on. Um, so I'm just gonna put the speakers in quickly plug them in and then get everything else sorted out. Yeah, voila, there we go, speaker is installed. I've used the foam. I just need to figure out how much foam needs to go on the front to secure it with the um, the, the uh, rest of the door panel. But apart from that, oh man, it does look so smart. I love it. Oh, coffee break. Coffee break. Uh, well, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Now, right, well, the situation is the weather is progressively getting worse and worse and worse. First speakers in and wired up. Wires gone through the um, wiring loom thing in the door hinge. Um, I just need to do the second side. Um, apart from that, all the door panels back on, blah, blah, blah. And it'll be really easy to um, wire the amp into the stereo as well. Don't have to have the doors open, but it's just. The weather is awful. So, coffee break, and also the battery of my um, my um, torque wrench and soldering iron has died as well. <sighs> Over. Oh, perfect. Just realised I didn't plug the fucking. Steering controls. Oh, God. Oh, you're recording, eh? Yeah, I am. Hello? <laughs> am I recording? Yeah, it comes up with a little red record. I need to get ground connected for the amplifier because mm -hmm. it's become disconnected again. But the panel's back on, the uh, speaker is fitted. Speakers. Speakers, that one and your one on that side. Yeah. What time is it? Uh, I don't know. I mean, as you can see, it's pro progressively gotten darker and it's now oh, night time. It's dark as it gets now, isn't it, really? Mm -hmm. Right. Right, so we come back once you've fitted it. We have got there, we're finally done. If you can see, we have got this really nice stereo um, in place, huge nine inch screen. And um, oh, it's so nice, you can have that, you can have maps open, I won't show you that, because that's my home. Um, yeah, it does sound really good. So much better having these Sony ES speakers on an amplifier, you get so much more bass. Oh, so much nicer just to chill in the evening. And oh, does the baby look so good. Oh, car's looking mint. But it's going in for repairs on Monday. So I'm gonna be getting a courtesy car because someone reversed into my front driver side. Only cosmetic, but either way, it's getting repaired on Monday. Um, I don't know how long for, they don't know how long for, so could be ages, could be just a little bit. <laughs> ah, gotta say, yeah, turn my on. Oh, I am knackered. I've literally been like groveling about in the rain and the weather, trying to get this sound system, but on initial testing, so much better, so much better. Uh, just run through again what I've done. Got the new stereo in. Um, which is a big nine inch screen and uh, sat right underneath it because um, the back of it only takes up a thin bit. I've got my small Sony four channel amp but I've set it to two channels and those two channels are powering just the door speakers and the stereo is powering the rest which is only two little tweeters in the dashboard because I've removed the rear ones because they honestly are just a pile of crap. 
so it's literally just pairing the two tweeters so they'll be getting plenty of juice from the stereo um yeah but oh it sounds so much better i've also done the um soundproofing on the doors with um speaker baffles the foam ones which is just supposed to improve mid bass i can't compare it before and after because i've changed the speakers as well so it, I, I reckon it has made a bit of a difference but overall the main difference is those speakers powered by an amplifier because it can just push more bass more power just sounds overall better but they're so like well balanced you've got loads of bass but they're so clear all the way through for that sony esv i'm glad i spent the extra on them yeah mm. phantom <laughs>